Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you happen to see our very first show five years ago, you met one very creative lady. Let's welcome Lisa Swenson back to our table. Welcome. Thank you. So has it been that be long? It has been. It Hi, seems Lise. like forever ago. Hi. Aunt. When did we see you last here on the show? Has it been a couple? Oh, gosh. was it a Valentine's segment of Table Scapes? I want to say now, it was Halloween, but but that was your first one. Did I do more than yeah, one? Yeah, see, I, yes, and I would yes. have thought it was a Christmas oh. one because I swear there were snowflakes involved. So what <laughs> we're saying is you've truly inspired us for all seasons. Well, I'm so glad. <laughs> I mean, we don't I'm sorry, know. it slipped my memory. Because, yep. and, as ours. And the reason I say that is because I am so n not creative at all. Ask them. <laughs> I, I I think I went to the dollar store after the fact because I think you had some big snowflakes or acrylic snowflakes. Yes. And yeah. I and I copied, and I literally, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, if she can do it, I can do this too. And I literally went to the dollar store okay. and bought the snowflakes. I, does that sound familiar? Yeah, it actually okay. does. I usually, well, not usually, but a lot of times I will do a tablescapes just using dollar store. I love that. items. I know you've I shared that. that before. You've inspired me for birthday yeah. parties yes. and everything. Like you don't have to go all right. in. You Bam. don't. It can be it can be really fun, and you don't have to spend a lot. Yeah. And the dollar store had those acrylic snowflakes for mm -hmm. years. Yes, uh -huh. they did. They quit making them. They did. They don't have them anymore. Oh darn it! <laughs> I think I have a few left. <laughs> I have some. I, so you I, can sell them. I, no, because okay. I th I think I actually <laughs> did it once. Well, I'm always going to do things, you know, grandiose. So I'm mm -hmm. oh, I could do this, and I do it. And it wasn't yeah. as grandiose Lisa, as yours, before but, we go oh. on to <laughs> decorating, just storage, because yes. I'm right there, like buying things for parties and stuff, I was kind of color coding them. How do you store them? Do you like do Thanksgiving tablescape or do you do holiday colors? Or do themes? you keep them with your holiday bins? What do you um, do? I usually keep them. Um, I keep the ho whatever holiday it is, I keep that stuff with the holiday. Okay, what if it's like a dinosaur birthday party? Do you oh, say, yeah, well, it's different. that's green, or is it? Put it in the dinosaur <laughs> holiday bin. <laughs> I'm just like trying no, to, I'm I, in the organization I, phase yeah, right now. Yeah, no, I would just probably have it. I mean, I guess you, if you have great big bins, but I would probably just buy something small, you know, just whatever would hold those items. Or do those miscellaneous it. items and then just put yeah, a label you on do a it, bigger, what's in there, like birthday. Yeah, if you put okay. more than one. Theme. All right, we'll talk later about this. Yeah. Let's talk about You could do birthday holiday. dino later, yes. yes. This is holiday traditions. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Okay, so what should we talk about first? I want to jump into Thanksgiving. Okay, let's okay, do that well, first. It is, it is coming. Yeah, that's so tell us some of your favorite things that you do for Thanksgiving. Oh, isn't Thanksgiving just the best holiday? It really is. <laughs> it's not about so. gift giving, and I love that. No pressure. Yeah, there's yeah, no pressure. It's like gratitude. Yeah. I know. And I food. Just, just I love show it. up with pie <laughs> and make right. everyone happy. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, you're a cook, so yes, I'm sure it's one of my favorite that. things to make for um, Thanksgiving is stuffing. Mm -hmm. I make really, really good stuffing, and it's just a simple recipe. It was like my grandma Chapel's recipe from way back, uh -huh. but it's really good. So do you cut the bread? Do you make the bread, or well, do you use? Now, if I follow how my mom used to uh -huh. do it, I mean, she used to make homemade bread. Yes. No and way. then she would oh, my word. Oh, <laughs> cut it and then dry it, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't. I don't go quite that far. Okay. Sometimes I will. You know, if I've got some leftover bread, you know, that we're Macy's not. I know. Just cuts it and dries yeah. it for you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you can just buy the bags. I never buy the seasoned. Okay. Okay. I just buy the plain. Okay. And then I season it myself. Okay. I prefer to do that. I think okay. it's better that way because you can really control the seasoning more. On. Right. So that makes sense. Yeah. So that's what. So I, that's a good fave. Yeah. So and I, homemade rolls. Yes, that's what really I do. good homemade rolls. Okay. And homemade rolls are not hard to make. Okay. No, they're we, not. They're I need really it not. because we tried to order this year for Thanksgiving oh. and we couldn't get an order. So all my oh. sisters are like, "Does anyone know how to make rolls?" So we're all in this panic. <laughs> really? We have you to don't make come some. To my cooking class the year. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but I can't remember. It's probably in one of my packets because I still have those. You better those. look back. Okay, I will. <laughs> but you can call me for some tips. Okay, all I'll right. I will. So stuffing and rolls order. are on your menu. Do you have a yeah. tradition for Thanksgiving with your family that you guys love? Well, one thing that we like to do um, is on after you know Thanksgiving dinner, we like to do gingerbread houses. Which oh, maybe that's seems a weird lot of work. on Thanksgiving. No. Well, no, we do super simple. Okay, so David, my husband, is mm -hmm. a custodian. So he just brings milk cartons, the little milk cartons home from school lunch. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And then we just hot glue graham crackers. Love that. Onto the, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so, I love that. So everyone could just make their own little and mini version. And then you just have all the, you just have the frosting and the candy. And, and they it's probably easy. don't 
fall down like right the yeah like Star you're not Bar trying to yes. yeah that's a fun tradition yeah, yeah. it is oh, and you can't I of like course that. necessarily eat the graham crackers no, they but glue on them, but who cares the fun part is just eating at the candy yeah. bowl Does and then decorating the gingerbread houses ever though no maybe I've never had the days but i don't think yeah. nowadays they would they're not great and no. they're sitting out for a mm -hmm. month yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. disgusting <laughs> do you host thanksgiving or do you rotate well um last year i hosted really for the first time at my own house and it was a new house yes so was, was that fun? It was really fun, yeah. So I made sure that my kitchen table um, will seat 10, so all of my kids and, you know, David and I can all sit at the table together. Okay, and, and then we do a grandkids table. Yeah, and then the grandkids. And we really, it was just my own little family because of COVID. I love know. that, though. Right? It made it, it a really little fun. intimate and fun. Where yeah. are you going this year? Well, this year is kind of a sad little year. Oh, is it your <laughs> off year with your it's kids? It's off year, so all my kids are going. And so it's just David and I and my sweet dad, who's 91, Aww. and my sister. So there's just four of us, so it's just going to be kind of quiet. Which and you're going to okay. make something at home? Yes, because okay. my dad, it's you know, it's maybe we'd go them. out or something, but it's just easy for him yeah. to be at home. So we're just going to, Lari and I, will make all the food, all our oh, it favorites. It tastes better. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We try. We tried it once. To we go tried, out tried once going too. out, and then it's not. It's not fun. It's not fun, and yeah. it wasn't and then good. You, have, you really don't have any leftovers, mm -hmm. and the leftovers That's are true. truly the best part. With Rhett's part. side of the family, we do go out to a big mm -hmm. buffet, but then we make mm -hmm. so you can have the leftovers, turkey dinner right? too, so oh, that we have yeah. leftovers. Yeah. Well, our favorite thing to do, um, like Thanksgiving night, as far as food goes. You know, you have all the leftovers, but sometimes you're like so full, you don't necessarily want to eat right. everything again. So we just started making like sandwiches with the homemade rolls, the cranberry. Have you ever had a tur like a yes. Thanksgiving mm. sandwich? They're my favorite. Yes. Uh -huh. Zubs in Springville. Yes. They are so good. <laughs> They're so, good. They are so <laughs> yummy, yes, guys. Yep. Yeah. So um, we just do that with all the leftovers, the turkey. And then I always buy the sweetheart turkey breast. Okay. Do you guys buy those ever? Instead of just the whole they, turkey. Oh yes, my we talked gosh. about that last it's time. It's mm -hmm. all meat. Mm -hmm. and they're kind of expensive, but man, they're Do you get yours at Circle V? Well, you know what? We've gotten them at Reams, but okay. this year they only have giant ones. And I still we want... We get ours at Reams. It was, it's about that big. Okay. But there's Can I say only... Reams? Circle mm -hmm. V? Oh, Wherever. I got Circle mine at v. Reams. You, you okay. got yours at Circle V, but Reams only had big ones. But um, Springville Meat also has them, yeah. mm -hmm. I found I out. Heard so that. I went there and got... Got a better nice a one. size that will work for our yeah. smaller Thanksgiving smaller. this year. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Okay, hey, we'll still have some left. Let's over. roll into Christmas, Christmas shall we? Christmas. We have oh, Christmas. My yes. favorite. Okay. <laughs> so you decorate trees for people, and you, yes. it's November, and you're oh boy. Well, I just left a it. decorating job to come here, and I'm okay. going to go back and help finish. Okay. Oh my goodness. But the it's so fun. My girls and I do it together, Haley and Caitlin, mm -hmm. and so we just have lots of clients from years past, and mm -hmm. then. We try not to pick up new clients because it, it's so hard to squeeze it all in. It's a short it takes time. window of yes. time when yeah. people want their trees it's up. It's like two or three weeks. Yeah, and so okay. we are doing a morning, noon, and night, days off. I mean, just oh, every wow. morning. Are you still working too? Yes. Right now? Oh, <laughs> oh my, my word. <laughs> it's a little crazy. So if we asked you, like, what would be your top tips for a tree decorating yes. process, what would you suggest? I would suggest, and I think this is something people never think about, are picks. Mm -hmm. You know, just like the picks that yes, you can. Yes, I have some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it, how many? Like I have five. Oh, you need mm -hmm. a lot more than that. <laughs> that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. A lot yeah, more, right? It makes such a huge difference. Like twenty, mm -hmm. or, or just a lot. But, okay. but a variety. Like we started like so five doing... up the same isn't cutting it. No, <laughs> no. got it, got it. But that's a good start. You see? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So um, we just started doing the ribbon, and then like doing these kind of like pick. I don't know if you'd call them a pick collage, but like three picks, you know, we poke the ribbon in and then like the top of the ribbon we do these collages. Like a little oh. pine cone with yeah. poly um, yeah, or something. Like, yeah, all kinds of different things. I okay. wish I had a picture. It's and then with the ribbon, gorgeous. we don't just wrap it. There's different ways to do yeah. that. Explain no that going to around them. the tree. Okay. <laughs> don't be afraid to cut your ribbon into segments. Okay. <laughs> you I'm don't want to work with a whole <laughs> roll of ribbon. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Cut it in pieces. We usually take two or three and, and we don't do bows anymore. Mm -hmm. That's really not. Oh no. Yeah. You, oh, no. Talk you need to hire Lisa. And she's I know. Already I booked. know. And you probably don't. Care. You probably are not supposed to use the same ornaments every year. Huh? Oh yes, you can do you that. Can. Absolutely. Okay. Once you make that investment, you've got yeah. to get a few yeah. years yep. out of them. Yeah, for sure. sure. So not twenty. 20 picks? 20, 20, year, years. 20 oh, years. 20 years. <laughs> I say as long as it feels good to you, then that's fine. I think fine, so too. Right? And I, I do yes. implement new. Like I will get new and then 
anyway. Yeah. yeah. Every so often in new okay. event. We're gonna we're gonna run out of time here. Oh, okay. Share with us what you All brought. Right, here. Traditions. Okay. okay. I love. Can I hold that up. I love Aww. this saying right here. Traditions so are the stories that families write together. So and traditions are just so important. Mm -hmm. um, it's just what brings us closer. It gives us something to look forward to. So my family, we've had this whole tradition. David and I started to do it before we ever even had kids. But we'd just go to Salt Lake during December for just um, either one or two nights. And um, just, you know, just do the normal things. Now, back in the day, we used to go to Mormon Handicraft and to the Lion House for lunch. Which yeah. Was so, and we always so went fun. on um, the weekend of the Festival of Trees, which we don't necessarily do anymore. But um, so we, we continued it, you know, when we got children. Okay. And then when, you know, now we've got 10 grandkids. Yeah. You know, and one, do, they all, do you do this with all the extended uh -huh, every, family every year? Yeah, just all my kids yeah. and, and their kids now, the grandkids, yeah. Wow. So we just go up and get a room and we go up and, and our favorite thing now is to go skating at the Gallivan Center. That is oh, really, really fun. Yeah, yes. we love it. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. And do you have a favorite hotel to stay at? Or do you we do We usually stay at the Hilton. Okay. Yeah, you want to be close to downtown. Yeah. If yeah. you want to walk, it's a nightmare to drive around. Yep. It's yeah. so busy. So we just, um, okay. yeah, just stay right downtown, and that's something we do. And then my other favorite thing is I do um, a Christmas kickoff party, and I always do it the weekend before Thanksgiving. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but if I don't do it then, you when you when your kids get married, you have to share. Yeah. They're just you know you have to. So I don't I don't have any competition mm -hmm. that weekend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I do it that weekend. Everybody comes over. Um, you know we do. We, I always pick a theme. Usually after a Christmas movie, uh -huh. but I feel like I've gone through all the Christmas movies. Oh. So now I'm doing. Um, Christmas book. I try. I tried a Christmas book this year. It was the Cute. night before Christmas, oh. and so I just pick all kinds of like crafts and food if it applies to okay. the movie or book. You know mm -hmm. that um, the grandkids can do. Um, it's just really fun. We have such a great time, and I always give the grandkids Christmas pajamas. Wow. See, I and give I them too, and I needed to find like a place to do it because it changes. I don't have them on yeah. Christmas Eve like I used to, so this can. I be I like fun. to do it early because then so they, they have can wear them right for the whole month. Right. Wow. We started a new so tradition much. last year where we're going to have the grandkids at our house on the first Saturday. Oh, okay. Of each December, so then the parents can shop or wrap, and then I want to give them pajamas that day. Oh, so you'll be like, tending them, basically. Yeah. Give them, like, oh, take yeah. them to the festival of lights or a movie and have oh, dinner and that's so whatever. Fun. That's oh. fun. Lisa, we could that sit and chat magical, with you. Like, yes. I know. Oh, yeah. is it, the time's up already? <laughs> oh, I know. Have a very yes, happy have a holiday season. And thanks we for will. sharing with us. Yes. You're, You're welcome. Back Thank you. Thanks yeah. so much. You bet. Coming up on Studio Chatter, we'll explore more holiday tradition ideas. Stay with us.